This absolute hunk of a machine is a Fujitsu Siemens Lightbook E6595 from 2001 and my only main computer all the way up until 2012. So I wanted to give a sort of commemoration of this laptop and to see just how well it does 10 years after I stopped using it. Now when I say this is a hunk of a machine, I mean it. This thing is big, it's thick, it's so heavy, but you also get these super nice and thin bezels. Look at them. It's like a modern laptop, even thinner. And of course, this is a business machine, so it's built to last. It has thick plastic, metal hinges, and so much I.O. On the front, we have stereo speakers, microphone, headphone in, and customizable buttons. On the side, we have an optical drive slot. In this case, a CD rewritable DVD-ROM. On the back, we have so many things such as PS2, keyboard and mouse. We also have a printer port, a docking connector, VGA out, two USB 1.1 ports and DC in. And on the other side, we have the vents, the network ports, and also two PC MCA card slots with this wonderful little USB 2.0 PC card and also infrared for data transfer, yes. And this thing is running Windows XP Service Pack 3. Now I know some of you are gonna ask, why not Windows 98? It did originally come with Windows 98. Unfortunately, DOS game audio compatibility is so bad since this sound chip is just too new. And when it comes to Windows 2000, it works fine. But by the time I configured it to my liking, I installed so many things, including all the updates and kernel X, that it just made more sense to just use Windows XP Service Pack 3, which is what I used all the way back 10 years ago when I used this thing as my main computer. So what is it actually running? What hardware is inside? Well, it has a Pentium 3 running at 850 megahertz, the copper mine generation, 384 megabytes of SD RAM, and a 16 meg onboard graphics chip from ATI. So it's a typical business machine from this time. In fact, I'm very thankful it comes with a Pentium 3 and not a Pentium 4, since this did come out in 2001 because it's so much more efficient. In fact, look at this. I can unplug it and the battery still works. It doesn't work for a long time, maybe 60 seconds, but it works. So since it's a business machine, this thing excels at business stuff like typing. The keyboard is so good. The tactile feel is so responsive and the travel is so nice and deep. So obviously typing documents in something like Microsoft Word or making presentations or spreadsheets works just fine. So Office 2003, for example, launches in an instant. Not bad. And doing basic photo editing in something even newer like GIMP 2.8.22, since this is Windows XP Service Pack 3. It's a 2017 program. We can do basic photo editing. So let's go to filters, for example, some Gaussian blur. Okay. That was really fast for a 20 year old processor and you can do more fun things such as draw little funny faces and some little smileys. It's okay for basic photo editing. Media playback in something like VLC Media Player works perfectly well so you can enjoy your favorite tunes. And if you have any 4x3 aspect ratio content, such as an old anime, it will look and work perfectly on this wonderful 14 inch 1024x768 4x3 aspect ratio display. And since we have that wonderful PC MCI car, we can use something like a wireless mouse with an adapter. Just plug it in. And having a mouse is very useful for what a lot of people probably use these laptops for playing old games. Now obviously this thing can play some retro games from the 90s. In fact my dad says he played a lot of Star Trek Elite Force on this thing. So something similar such as something that it's based on, the engine is based on, such as Quake 3 Arena, should work just fine. And honestly it does. And if it can run this game just fine and obviously it can run other games from the 90s just as well, 3D or 2D. So let's check a few out.
Look at this game, you even get a dog. Come on, it's worth playing just for the dog. Even games that are CPU frequency bound like Motor Racer work perfectly fine. <laughs> I wonder what trance I am, AT or MT? Now, of course, this old business laptop will run old school games just fine and old programs just fine. But let's just close them for a bit and focus on the thing, the elephant in the room. Can this thing run the modern internet? Well, even back then, it struggled with loading pages. I remember being so frustrated at how slowly it loaded Flash games. But simpler sites should still work fine. So I have this wonderful little Tendo wireless adapter. Let's plug it into the USB 2.0 PC card. And let's open up the last version of Firefox compatible with processors without the SSD2 instruction sets. And let's try loading up some sites. So let's try something like duckduckgo.com. That was pretty fast, I didn't expect that. Okay, let's search for Fujitsu Siemens Lifebook E6595. Wow, okay, that was tolerable even for modern standards. Okay, what about images? Wow, that... Honestly, that's really fast. I wasn't expecting it to perform this well and hey, look at that. An E6595 with all its original stuff when it was brand new. 14.1 inch, oh yeah, that's it. That's the machine you're watching right now. So simple sites work just fine. Now, obviously something like YouTube and Facebook and even Reddit will not work. This thing is just too old to even load the site on this particular browser, let alone anything JavaScript heavy, it will just kill the processor. But simple sites like, for example, motherforkingwebsite.com. Hey, seriously, what else do you want? But we're not done yet. I do have another special treat for you. We got to move a lot of stuff around, including the laptop itself to fit this in since it's pretty big. I do in fact have a genuine, legitimate, 100% a real, original, I actually use this as my main monitor. Fujitsu Siemens monitor. And of course this thing has VGA so we can connect it and see how it works. It works. I might need to fiddle around with the settings some more, but there it is. 1280 by 1024, the resolution of this display, and yeah, it's extended. The wallpaper is kind of messed up, but hey, it works. Well, if nothing else, I'm glad to see this laptop still working just fine with the original thermal paste, uh, just an extra new hard drive, a 60 gig one that was installed 15 years ago. The lesson we can all learn here is that if you want to buy a laptop, buy a business one, spend a lot of money, because it also might last for another 20 years for you as well. But for now, good night and see you next time.